Welcome back to the newest episode of the Wet Floor <laughs> Podcast. I'm Nate Miller, joined by my co-hosts Dylan Hodges, Ethan Kiker, and Gable Carrick. Guys, it's been a big week of sports. I think we'll kind of hit on our March Madness brackets and then get into some of the NFL free agency first. So if you guys want to break out the brackets. Nate, hey, sound more down, please. You sound awful. What? You sound so disappointed to be here. I am this is a blast. Super man. hyped to be here. Sorry guys. Welcome back there to the Wet Floor Podcast. What's yeah. up, Psycho Hut? We're breaking down March Madness practice today. We're talking NFL free agency That's and what trades. We're missing. Let's do it. All right. So hey, I'm, I'm trying to load it up. Pulling your bracket up, at? I'm just gonna pull it up on the ESPN app. I already know it all memorized. So yeah, like Antonio Brown said, more head state all the way. Wait, what are you pulling up? <laughs> Why do you have that? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> my other one's on the computer. Wait, what are you pulling? It my other one's on the computer, I guess. Or maybe I can go Canvas through my phone. You have Canvas? Mm-hmm. Why do you have you're breaking on Canvas? Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Can I test oh, I need to donate my food item to Mr. Anderson wait, so I can go. Probably should. Wait, I, I don't know where it is, guys. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Where's the Nodi? Nodi? That's gone. Bazani? Nodi, there it is. Which conference are we looking at? Was any? Which conference are we looking at first? East, South, Midwest? Uh, we'll go West? top left. No, I can't I'm find the good one, Wait. guys. Use your freaking troll one, dude. Okay, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just should I just go off of here? I don't really need. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Right. I'll just tell you who I am. All right, so let's start. 16 East. seed, UConn versus Stetson. It's a hard Stetson's one. Been pretty good. What do you guys got? Give me UConn. UConn. Yep. I'm gonna take UConn. All right. FAU Northwestern, our first one. What do you guys think? That's FAU. sleepy, you know? It could go either way. It's a 50 50. 8 9, yeah. I know why I, I got FAU. FAU. Northwestern. Northwestern's a bunch of frogs. I got, I got Northwestern. Gotta stay with the I'll take the 9 seed. Yeah. Give me uh, San Diego State for the next one. I yep. like them. I had pretty That's good on last year. I, got a, I do have at least one 12 5 upset. That's a common yeah. upset, but in this case, I would agree with you guys. I don't think this is one of those. San Diego State made to the championship last year. I see him going to the round of 32. Yeah, next one, uh, Auburn, Yale. I'm going to take Auburn. That's, a, that's a flip either. Auburn, really? I, I actually think Yale's a pretty good mid-major team, but Auburn's coming off one in the SEC. They're hot. They're rolling. Give me Auburn. I'm taking Auburn, too. The next one, BYU, Duquesne. I have BYU. I have Give BYU. me the fighting <laughs> Zach Wilsons. Okay. Took, I took Duquesne. Took the 11th okay. seed. Go on. Underdog. Come on now. Do you know who Duquesne was before coming into this? Oh, no, absolutely not. Oh, uh, I got U of I, baby. Come on. Illinois, Moorhead State. Um, Moorhead State. Antonio Brown really likes them, but give me give me the Illini. ILL. Go in the Final Four. Next one's a, this one's a toss up. I've seen a bunch of people pick a different one. Washington State versus Drake. Personally, I got Tennessee Drake beating Washington State. I got Drake. We got Washington State. Oh, the great state of Iowa. I actually don't think it's a bad Washington State team, but this Drake team is rolling. I like Drake. Okay, next one. I think it's a no-brainer. Iowa State. Iowa State. Iowa State. Gonna State. Go to State. Gonna, should we stay? Should we stay in the East? Uh, how about we do the whole round of 64 Four. and then we'll come back up? North Carolina versus uh, Wagner. North Carolina. Just off that loss to uh, NC State, though, but I still think they'll... they'll they're, play. they're a legit yeah. team. Yeah, yeah like, they, got, they got guards. They have people that are older, so they got that leadership. Uh, now, this one's a good one. Mississippi State versus Michigan State. I got Michigan State number nine beaten... Mississippi State. So, so I got. I Izzo got. in March is dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. I think yeah. they're more experienced, and experience is a uh, key. Yeah. Yeah. This is another one where I see a lot of people taking I, Grand Canyon, but I'm I rolling St. Mary's. Mary's. Yeah, yeah, I got St. Mary's, 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 Mary's too. Mary's, yeah. I think the winner of this game will go. Will make a run at it. Sweet the winner Mary's. of this game will make a run at it. Next one, Alabama Charleston. I was thinking about Charleston because. Bama's is one of those Bama's teams, they're that. so good at offense, but they don't really play defense. So. I've seen a lot of people take Charleston, actually. I want to say one of mine, I, I had Charleston. I have had Bama. I got the Tide. Yeah, all yeah. time. And then this one, New Mexico versus Clemson. This is the easiest upset to take, in my opinion. I think New Mexico wins this game easily. I got New Mexico, too. I've got New Mexico. Nate told me to take New Mexico, so I'm going to listen to you I have New Mexico one. in my Elite Eight, so... Yeah. Okay, uh, Baylor, Colgate. I got Baylor. I got Baylor. Yeah, give me the Bears. This one's also a pretty uh, good matchup, Dayton and Nevada. I think it's another easy one for me. I really like the Mountain West. I'm taking Nevada. I, yeah, I have, I I have, have Nevada, Nevada, too. Nevada, too. I think Nevada got way underseeded, and I think Dayton actually got overseeded, so I think that's pretty easy. Dayton don't, don't, don't got no one on the team Arizona anymore. versus Long Beach State. Did you guys hear the story about Long Beach State's coach? 
Yeah. Who? So the week before the tournament, he's been there for like 20 years. The school and him agreed that he would be done after the season, so they, they basically kind of fired him. And then he went out and won their conference championship, so now they're playing in March Madness. So it's an underdog story. He's going to get a new job. All right, let's get to the next region, please. South. Uh, okay, hold up. Oh, South, hold on. Houston versus Longwood. Houston. Give me Houston. 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 Nebraska, Texas A&M. I actually have to go back and see who I picked for that one. I actually do not know. I originally picked Nebraska, but I actually think I like A&M. I, I'm, I'm an A&M guy. I got to I gotta take A&M. Them. I got Let the Cornhuskers. somebody else. I'm going to try to find my bracket. I know I have. Oh. What's the next game? Okay, here's one of my brackets. Wisconsin JMU. That's another common upset. I, didn't I have, like JMU. I, I, I like Texas A&M winning that one. I got, this game. I got Wisconsin right now. They're hot. I got I'm Wisconsin. Gonna, I'm going gonna to let them be hot for a little bit at least. Next one, Duke, Vermont. Got Duke. I have Duke. Duke. It's a weak Duke, Duke team, yeah. though. I can easily see Duke losing to the winner of JMU, Wisconsin. That's what yeah, I, that's I have. Fair. Wisconsin. Texas Tech, NC State. I got NC State. I have Tech. I've got Tech, too. I had NC State. They're NC hot. NC State, yeah. they're they hot. are really hot, Huge but they, they played five games in five days. I think legs are going to be tired. That was a week ago, two weeks ago. It was. It ended on Sunday. Yeah, a week from when they'll play. Close enough. Their legs will be fine. Their legs will be fine. They're, they're, they're D1 athletes, Nate. you got to remember that. They, we'll see. They got we'll, good trainers. We'll their leg, their we'll legs see. are fine, Nate. Don't worry about their legs. Uh, Kentucky, Oakland. Kentucky. 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 KU. Uh, I think Kentucky, though, is either going to go, like, Final Four or lose either. They're similar to Illinois, Illinois, Alabama. They're yeah. a really good offensive team, but they don't really get back and guard. Hmm. Florida or either Boise State, I think, or Colorado. Colorado. I have the winner of the playing game in this. Gator ball, gator ball. I got gator. <laughs> yeah. Gator ball, gator ball. Marquette versus Western Kentucky. This next game, if there was a 15 or 16 seed to win, I think it would be Western Kentucky. Because really? Marquette's best player is going to be out, Tyler Kolick, as I, of today. I no, I still have Marquette because there's no but point. If there was a team there's no picking those. If there, I think it would be that one if there was going to be one. Purdue. 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 And if there's a yeah. year for Purdue to win, it's this one. I think they got the Purdue's easiest path out of any one seed. They've been so close so many times. Well, not close, but they've been in they've been high high seed. High seed. Yeah. 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 Utah State versus TCU. I got TCU being Utah State on this one. What do you guys have? Utah State. I have Utah State. I have Utah State as well. I really like those Mountain West teams. Okay. Uh, Gonzaga versus McNeese. This has been a common upset pick I've seen because apparently this, Zaga, this McNeese team is pretty Gonzaga. good, but I I feel confident. This is kind of a down year for Gonzaga, yeah. but they're still a tough team. I got the, I got the Zaga. I had them winning a couple Gonzaga? games. Gonzaga. You call it Gonzaga? I call it Gonzaga. Gonzaga? How do you I call it Gonzaga? Gonzaga. Gonzaga. How do you say it? How do you say it? It goes back and forth. I say Gonzaga. Gonzaga. I, I, if I'm say, if I'm shorting it, it's Zaga. But if it's you know what, next right. game. Uh, Gonzaga. Kansas. Samford. I've Kansas. seen this one a lot. People taking Samford. I, Kansas. Kansas. I like Samford. Yeah, so. Kansas, Kansas is weak this year. This Don't is a very weak Kansas team. I want to say it's been the worst record under Bill Self at Kansas. South doesn't Carolina, mean a kid put it together. I've seen a lot of people taking Oregon. I got the Ducks. I got the Ducks. Got the game got the Cox. Cox. This yeah. is another one of my picks that I think I think Oregon had. Oregon is a better team than South Carolina, in my opinion. I, I think just the presence of uh, Spencer Rattler being at South Carolina. He's out of just how ugly he is. Well, you know he's training right now. How ugly he is. Come on now. <laughs> what? Don't disrespect him. Creighton boys with uh, Akron. 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 Creighton. I think Creighton's real tough. I got Creighton. Yeah, Creighton's good this year. Yeah. Did you see how Akron won? Oh, my God. The foul. The foul. First that was one left. of the oh, stupidest shit. things I've ever seen. Who are they playing? Kent State. Kent State. That's one of the stupidest things ever. Anyways. Texas, Colorado State. You got to wait. You got to transfer after that, right? You have to. That is I mean, so just, boneheaded. He was Do you guys know what we're bad. talking about? I think so. So he got. They had four seconds left. They just made a layup. They're up by one. The other team, Kent With State. Four seconds left. Some guy comes charging at him and fouls him, so he gets two shots. He didn't know they were winning, so he, he fouls like they were down. All right, Texas, Colorado. This was one of the playing games, but Colorado State thumped Virginia last night. Yeah, I heard the game was awful. Uh, there's a lot of people complaining that Virginia got in because they were probably the worst team in the field, and they scored 41 points last night. Yeah, so that's bad. I got Texas. I, I, have, got Texas. I have Colorado State. Give me the Longhorns. Uh, uh-huh. Tennessee, St. Peter's. Peter's. They're not making another run St. Peter's. I'm sure. I'm taking Tennessee. That's blast yeah. from the past, man. This is another one. You can't predict the 15-16. There's no point in picking them. We don't have, we don't have the eSports logo. They ain't doing it. True. All right, so second round. I don't know who you guys pick. We're we doing the second round now. Are we doing? Should we? We do just want to do the final four. Are pick? we gonna do final fours? Um, 
How about we jump to like our sweet 16? All right, that's fine too. And then we'll go final four. My sweet 16, I got UConn and Auburn playing. I really okay. like Auburn this year. Yeah, let me switch apps. You run through yours, I gotta log into mine. So I got UConn versus Auburn, and then my other my other one in the East is U of I versus Iowa oh, you, State. Oh, you chalked it? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Iowa State might win this though. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about this game. Iowa State's looking good this year. Yeah. I like how they look this year. Yep. In the West, I got North Carolina and Bama. Uh, I've taken UNC in that one. And so then, both regions, you have the top four seeds. Okay, dude, it's just, there's going to be no upsets this year. I'm just saying that now. It's like uh, Shannon Sharp. He's <laughs> <laughs> all one seeds. Wait, that's, they, that's why they pay him Stephen A's is all one seeds. Wait, my next one's one, two, three, four as well. But then my Midwest <laughs> is a five seed. I can talk him. <laughs> so what's your final four looking like then? Okay. Mine's just not looking. Uh, one, 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 I got three. Mine. One, 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 three. So okay. I'm going to go through mine. I got UConn, San Diego State, and Illinois and Iowa State. Wait, wait, who do you have? In the East. In, in your, what is it, Sweet 16? Yeah. Who do you have? UConn and who? UConn and San Diego State. And Illinois and Iowa State. North Carolina, St. Mary's. And uh, New Mexico and Arizona. In, my, in the West. In the South, I got... Houston and Duke, and Kentucky and Marquette. I went scratch there. Uh -huh. And then Midwest, I got Purdue and Kansas, Oregon, and Texas. Texas. Okay. I think those are solid picks. All right, Ethan, you want to go? I'll finish it up. Uh, got San Diego State and Illinois. Four. North. You're in the Elite Eight. Oh, my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> uh, I got San Diego over UConn. Okay. Uh, Illinois over Washington State. North Carolina over Bama, Arizona over Baylor. Um, wait, what? Is that right? Okay, well, let's rock with it. <laughs> Tennessee over South Carolina. Wait, am I in Elite again? That's You're in it. Midwest. Yeah, I don't know where you are. Yeah. You oh, I just scrolled over to the bottom. You skipped the South. You, you you skipped yourself. What? You skipped the South. Where's <laughs> They're right there, dude. I was just scrolling over on the bottom, all right? Um, <laughs> you got me in or you good? <laughs> Houston over a &M, Duke over JMU, Kentucky. <laughs> He's in the wrong round again. What are you talking about? You're in the round of 32, I think. No, that's 16. Houston and that's, Duke would play yeah. each other. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they would play in the round of 32. Whatever, dude. All right. <laughs> that was, uh, you had, Where's your final four picks? <laughs> you, you had all some right. good picks in there. So okay, I'm going to start down in the Midwest. Me and Dylan actually had the same Sweet 16 down in the Midwest. I, I have... Creighton beating Tennessee, and I have Gonzaga beating Purdue. We scroll up to the south. I have James Madison I making it, it to the Sweet 16, where they will lose to Houston. And then I have Kentucky beating Marquette to go to the Elite Eight. In the west, I have North Carolina beating St. Mary's, and I have New Mexico beating Arizona. So New Mexico going to the Elite Eight. And then my east is kind of where my crazy bracket is. So I actually have UConn going out second round to Northwestern. And then I have San Diego State beating them. And then in my other matchup, I have Drake beating Iowa State to go to the Sweet 16, playing U of I, and U of I advancing to the Elite Eight. So, if we want to move on to the Final Fours now, Ethan, you want to lead us No, out? hell you no, guys, it? I'm done. You're tapping out? Yeah, you okay. guys got it. We'll, we'll talk to you. You want me to read your football. picks? No, you're good, bro. All right, in my <laughs> Final Four, I got UConn versus uh, North Carolina, and then Kentucky versus Creighton. Okay. I got UConn, North Carolina, Marquette versus Oregon. Oregon. Oregon, wow. <laughs> I believe wow. in the Ducks. I got Marquette losing to Kentucky the round before that. Oh, is that the round before? So I, I have so, yeah. two one seeds and two three seeds. So I have, from the South Midwest region, I have Houston beating Creighton. And East West, I have Illinois beating North Carolina in a revenge matchup of the 2005 National Championship. And then in my championship, I have Illinois beating Houston and winning the National Championship. All right, I got this one, guys. Oh, are you, are you on <laughs> I got San Diego State versus Arizona. I got San Diego State taking it. And then Houston over Tennessee. So San, San Diego, Diego State, State going back to back in the championship? Yep, San Diego State is a national champ. Oh, you have San Diego, San Diego State winning? San Diego State's winning it, man. Oh, so they couldn't get it done last year, but they're getting they got it done it. this year. Okay, and I think they were a five seed last year, too. So I believe. Um, and who do you have winning the National Championship, Don? UConn. Yeah, I got UConn. Okay, so you have a 3-3 and then a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Yeah, Kentucky's one of those that's like, they could lose early or they could really or make a deep run. run. Yeah. yeah. 
But teams I feel confident about. Uh, doing it. He's good. Oh, so shifty. This, this, one, good. this one I got some wild picks in there. So shifty. <laughs> um, our, we'll do our women's bracket another time. Start, oh, I have insane, one. Though. I got Iowa winning it all. I, have, I also have Iowa winning it all. I got Iowa winning it all. CC. I got I just Iowa. Think, does, can South Carolina play against them? Yeah. It would be, the be the national championship. the final four is at the national championship. It would be the national championship because I was the two seed. Like last year, I just don't think. I was the two seed? No, they're at one. Well, they, they're the number two seed oh, in the overall, overall bracket. Last year, I just don't think it was destiny for Kaylin Clark to win, but like this year, final year, she yeah, she's got to win, right? She's going she's gonna to have to roll through a gauntlet of like, I hope LSU loses. I'm not a big Bears. fan of Kaylin Clark. Really? really? She just, I don't know. Maybe it's all the publicity, publicity she gets. I'm not a big fan of Angel Reese or their coach. Their coach is awful. She threw the first pitch out the Savannah Banana Games a couple of years. Really? Really? Saw on Instagram today. So we got our national champion. So Gable has... UConn. UConn. Ethan. San Diego State. Dylan. UConn. Illinois. ILL. All right, so we got our March Madness done. Let's move on to football. There's been a lot of moves in the last week. Let's start with the obvious one. Justin Fields Finally. going to the Steel City. He's on the Steelers. What are your hey, thoughts? Hey, me, me and Nate called it bag of chips for uh, a mediocre quarterback. And a handshake. Yeah. Wow. It was it was surprising. I did not see it at all. It was just so random. Really? I, I, I saw him maybe getting traded, but to the Steelers for that, I didn't see that. The Steelers, one of the two. I thought Steelers or Falcons from the beginning, so. Just maybe I didn't think but it was going to unfold. the Steelers getting Russ, I didn't know. Like, I was thinking, okay, the Steelers are probably gone. And then the Falcons got Kerr. I was like, okay, they're probably gonna be probably gone. Now he's gonna be a backup for what? I, mean, yeah, like, I, I think he could beat him out. He could. I be, really it, do. It's gonna be an open com- competition, I think. Because it's I, not like I they promised saying that he wasn't even gonna compete for the start. They didn't now. pay Russ enough money for him. One point two. But they yeah. didn't they have were, to. Yeah. 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 We we're talking about expense, extending him too. Yeah. I saw but that. I'm saying if if Fields truly is the better quarterback, they will start him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Did you see uh, Jerry Judy got extended on the Browns? Nineteen million dollars yeah. a year. That's insane. He does I, not he's deserve good, that. He's but like he hasn't really like. No, he hasn't proven anything. He hasn't done much. He had a beef with uh, Shannon Sharp. I remember that though. Fair enough. Who season. hasn't had beef with Shannon Sharp or Skip Bayless? Oh, well, everyone has Skip Bayless. No one likes Skip Bayless. My favorite thing is how Braun has never responded to Skip Bayless in the thousands of times Skip Bayless has talked about him, never acknowledged him. KD's acknowledged him for sure. I've seen some beef on Twitter there. Katie's an analogy. Did anyone. I see uh, Kyrie Irving's game winner? I did see that, the little, the little hook left shot. Hand. That was nice. Jokic. That was nice. You could shot on Ramadan, too. Ooh, I forgot he was probably fasting. Yeah. That's like, you can't eat or drink night, dirt, sun up and sundown. Sundown, yeah. 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 That was uh, Hakeem used to do that, Hakeem Olajuwon uh, of the Rockets. He actually uh, sold his uh, championship rings because they had gold in them. And in Islam, you can't wear gold. Wow. Yeah. More you know. You can't wear it or you can't have it? Wear it, I would assume. I would at least have kept it, not wore it. it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's habit. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not Islamic myself. Um, I don't know how we started talking about that. Thanks. Back back to the Bears. Uh, Keenan Allen. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. I love when I see people complaining that we get signed Curtis Samuel for $10 million, (laughs) and then Ryan Poles goes out and gets Keenan Allen for... A fourth round draft pick. Yeah. I mean, the lack of draft picks How right now. Keenan Allen? 32. 30, yeah, 32. Lack of draft picks kind of concerns me right now, but you can trade back at nine to like yeah. 12 yeah. and pick up two more picks in the later rounds, you know? Which, if we do that. And if he wants to move up, he's also got ammo for him next year. He's got two seconds next year. Yeah. Yes. Again, from the Panthers. And if, if that's the way he wants to go, if he wants to – he's already built in the draft kind of. If he wants to go out and trade, I'm fine with that. Um, Now's the time. If I he's mean. getting proven players with those draft picks, I'm fine with giving yeah. some of those yeah. up. Like a fourth-round pick for Keenan Allen, all day, every day. Especially to help a rookie quarterback like that. I mean, Yeah. But now, but now we need pass rusher in the draft. Now yeah. we need pass rusher. I would like one more lineman maybe. I don't know if you draft that with the nine or the other – because you probably trade back. I want I want pass rusher at nine the nine pick you know like if a, a Dallas Turner sitting there that'd be a good guy to the Bears right now. Or the dude Joe All I wouldn't be mad about him on the offensive line he could be a dog. Uh, he's going before that. You he's, think he's going before nine? Did you guys see Marvin Harrison didn't even do his pro day today? Uh, yeah, I heard he wasn't gonna do that at the combine. I mean, what else is he gonna? Prove? Hopefully the first eight teams pass on him and he's just there at nine. Hopefully. That'd be cool. I don't, I don't so what happened last year with Jalen Carter and. Do you think the Bears are drafting? 
Bar Mar Mar Marvin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't think we have to worry about that because he's going to go off the board before. And, like, I don't, I don't see the point in drafting a receiver at nine right now when you have two alpha dogs in there. Yeah. Plus a good a good tight end and then a, a really good number two tight end. I want to be yeah. opposed to like, – I want to be angry if they did it, obviously, but I would agree. I think they got to go pass rush or offensive line. Yeah, if, left, if, left tackle or pass rush right If Adunze's at nine, I don't think you can pass on him. Because the only argument trade, I've, trade the pick then. The only argument I've seen is Shane Waldron. He had the three receivers on his team last year on the Seahawks because they drafted Smith oh, and Jigba yeah. when they already had Lockett and Metcalf. I've seen that argument. And obviously Keenan Allen is older, so you know, how long is he gonna stick right. around for? But you could just do that next year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When you got a first round pick and two second rounders, and you yeah. can get you can get good guys in that second, in round, second round next year. Do you know what number they have for the first round this year? Uh, no, no one does the the to the end of that next year. So it's based on what, I mean, what you finish. This wide receiver class is deep, too. You could probably get a day two guy. Oh, yeah, so there's a lot of good you, you got it. You got, you got a pretty good third round pick. You like gotta, that dude yeah. that set the combine record worthy. He might not go Save until early pick. second no, round. Or is he going to go first? No, I don't think so. I don't uh, like worthy. He's 160 pounds. I guess he's kind of like a I John Ross. Yeah, that's type like, you know. No, he's, he's, better. He was better. he's better than John Ross coming out. Oh, I would hope so. John Ross was just fast. Yeah. This guy, this guy had, was close to being a second or in third before he ran that. Yeah. Now, now he could be a second or a first with that time, in my opinion. Sharpness running four four four. What? His, his, his uh, recruiting uh, status is going to go up. You know, for that. Shout out Colton Sharpness. Shout out Colton Sharpness four 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 in weight training. Yes, sir. Beautiful time. You know, he's been he's been working, man. He's a dog. He's on, he's on your track team? Yeah. Big track meet today. Yeah, I'll be announcing it. Oh, you are? You want to be there? Yeah, the, I, he's making me read. He shared me a doc a couple hours ago. Fun facts. So if you want me to get any fun facts, just put me okay. in there. I'll I say it. it. Can I get out of the mic maybe sometimes? Sure, I don't care. Perfect. It's a, it's a freshman team. Are you getting paid for so, it? No, sadly not. <laughs> he, uh, You're doing this for the, free? It, he, I was voluntold. He basically stopped me in the oh. hallway and told me that I had to do it. He, uh, he emailed me and said, we won't be able to do payment, but I might be able to get you some raffle tickets. And I said, don't bother. Why? They got there's some a, cool prizes. There's prom ones? There's prom one. There's like a free, you get to golf at Sycamore. Wait, today? For free. Are you yeah, serious? in the thing today. Okay. There's a Canes. I did there's not a, know about that. There's a Canes one. I don't like it. Canes is guy. overrated, man. I like Canes. I used to like Canes a lot, but then I started going there so much. And I was like, Ooh. yeah. Hey, awesome. Chick-fil-A or Canes? Chick-fil-A. 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 Yeah. Have you ever been in and out? I just don't think trash. from where from what? where we live right now, Chick Fil A is just not worth it. Chick Fil A is just it's yeah. just not worth the. It used the, to be like when I used to barely get it. I used to be like love Chick Fil A going out. Now that I have my license and stuff, and I used to like drive out there like a couple of times, I'd be like, it, it, I, if I want Chick Fil A so much, I wouldn't even go get it. Yeah. It's just like a, it's like a. Flight. I can't believe they haven't built one here yet. The third they, they were supposed too. to, yeah. Like right by kind of like by the Starbucks. I heard the Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. I don't know. It's like it's like hard to get like a franchise from Chick Fil A. Well, how does like, NIU not have one? Is more of the question. Not sick. How does NIU not have one on their campus? That's fair. Or like in that Target lot where Canes is now. I was there, not one over there, you know, or somewhere. Yeah. Well, okay. I will say this. I feel like Chick Fil A is consistent. I miss Canes that. on their good days is like good, but Canes can have bad days. I miss that Applebee's. Or Canes was. That was a good. Oh, Chick I forgot about yeah. that. But Keynes has been there at least since. <laughs> I had a birthday party at that after. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. well, how old were you? I don't know. It was just family. It wasn't like my. Oh, friends. oh I thought your all your friends went like, out Applebee's. And just... Welcome to Applebee's. Okay. Remember the fifty uh, or the unlimited bonus wings? I, I never did it. We I did. did. It was horrible. We drove. We actually drove to Applebee's and then we got we there were, and they said they didn't have it. We were on a good roll, and then we want to switch up honey barbecue so you get lemon pepper. Worst wings made than ever eaten really? before. Really? I love them. Oh, not from Applebee's. They're stuff. good, but from Applebee's, they're just horrible, and then you just don't want to eat anymore. Who was your yeah. squad? It was me, Jack Latino. Oh, God. Don't Mike say Michael Shannon. Oh, wow. It was, it was I needed after two a Jave game. I needed two anchors. It was after a Jave game. Didn't probably eat more than all of them? It was and Kyle, and Colton, and Landon. And we, all right, me, Kyle, Colton, Landon, Michael, and Jack. Six pe seven people. So did so did Rebel, Jack, and Shammy eat more than other four people combined? The most people that me and Kyle or Kyle had the most, and I was the second most. Are you serious? Too. Yep. Sixty some wings. Oh. And Jack and Shammy both had like thirty something. 
And Shammy just so and Shammy just played a football. The JV game. It was after more after it was after so they beat more. Disappointing Morris. to bring them to there just to not eat as much as I thought they would. It just made me so. Preble winning doesn't surprise me. Preble winning doesn't surprise me. But Jack he, he not used put, to be able Jack, to put that away. Jack and what's it called not putting forty up at least. Not even forty because Michael just kept complaining the whole entire time. Well, I think like, I could well, probably only do like twenty twenty five. No, 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 they're small. Oh, are they? You can get them. Yeah, there's. I get like thirty. Yeah, you get you get like six, then you wait like t- six seven minutes and they'll come. Oh, that like wait's not good, not good. Well, then we had to wait because. Gotta like, keep on had, going. Because I think it was like Jack or Landon was like, I'm gonna throw up, and someone overheard it, and they have a rule. You have to wait like thirty minutes. Do you think they turn a profit on that? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, it's not real chicken. It can't be if they're just giving away like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if they're small, maybe. But it gets people in the st- sco- store yeah. to and buy. And you're buying, stuff. you're buying drinks and when, stuff. When, as a, or you get water. When is a seventeen? Anything else when you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. When is a junior senior in high school? Would you ever go to an Applebee's with your friends? Never. Probably never. <laughs> Probably never. Hey, dude. birthday party at Applebee's. We'll go to Chili's though. Have I, I, I did again. see the uh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Chili's isn't bad. Chili's I saw the good. Bears. Uh, took Caleb Williams out to dinner last night. Do you think they took him to Applebee's? No. Uh, they took him to, like, Ruth's Chris. No, it was in L.A. <laughs> it was, oh. There's multiple Ruth's Chris. There's one in Hawaii. Oh, good to know. Maybe took him into an In-N-Out. In-N-Out's good. I like it. It's overhyped. It's like a whole, like, it's like a, like, it's, I don't know. If I was getting a burger. Have you ever had that? that no, I I've never. I never have. If I was getting drafted by a team and they took me to... Applebee's or what's it call or in and out I'm pulling an Eli, Eli Manning. Manning. I'm Eli pulling Manning. an Eli Manning. Like, Eli Manning. Like, that's what RG3 oh. thinks that Caleb should do. Keenan Allen was at uh, the pro Caleb day today. Williams yeah. Pro day. He was running around hype in a oh. bear sweatshirt too. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. That was Is cool. Is uh, NCAA 25 supposed to come out soon? The summer. July? Yeah. Every person that opt into the game gets a copy of the game like 500 bucks. Six. Arch Manning didn't like that apparently. Too much of a distraction. <laughs> God, was that stupid. And NIU is going to be in it. No, Did Rocky time. ever answer you? Is Rocky no. Going? Oh, he didn't. Never responded. He too cool for school. For he had his pro day. I heard he balled. Out, he balled out his pro day. Ed Criffio was in there. Was there? He was. Those the two pixel pictures that he's taken. Did you guys see? I know Gable saw it. The drippy picture of Eberflus and poles at airport. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not loading. What's I do I like Eber, Eberflus' beard is looking good. Right? I like it. Like, I like it. He's got a little. What's the word? He's like a little swagger. I guess you could say. Yeah. Like, come on, you're laughing at me, but he's a little swagger. A little bit of, a little bit of. He found himself. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of. He's happy right now, man. He's, he's just happy to have a job. He should yeah. be. I thought they were gonna can him. I, I, yeah. I think those those two Eberflus and Poles have been making some real good off seasons. Yeah, sure. yeah. And but Poles, and I think a, lot, a lot of Bears fans fans thought like before going into it, and now they're they're doing good. And uh, we only got like ten minutes left, but I feel like you know we're so Bears oriented. How has your uh, Packers been doing this off season? Uh, sign, re-signed uh, AJ Dillon to like 1.4 million dollar deal for a year. That's like nothing. So it's not bad. Josh Jacobs getting signs. I was happy. I'm really excited about it at first, and then let go of Aaron Rodgers for not Aaron, Rodgers, Aaron Jones for Wrong one man. year seven mil. Yeah. That's I us not being able to pay that. Yeah. I feel like it's pretty pretty crappy for the Packers. And then did you just see about Devondre Campbell like? Leaking about the Packers and how they didn't even so offer bad. him. They didn't offer him anything. They, they didn't just offer him. him. No, they no. just caught him. He's like talking about how bad like Matt Lafleur was with the coach and stuff like that. And he was just he he hates Joe Barry. I mean, he's everyone hates now, Joe Barry. A lot of people hate Joe Barry. He's gone now, thank God. But Xavier McKinney, that was a good signing. Yeah, I like that a lot. He he deserves a decent amount of money. He's just, he has the best like. Uh, yeah, in have, they cut, have they cut the corner yet or no? They cut uh, Jonathan Owens. He's going to the Bears. Yeah, he's on the, yeah, Bears. He's on the Bears. No, the the good corner. Jay Alexander. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he's still on the team. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bonehead. They re-signed Keyshawn Nixon. I like that. Good return guy. Not a good corner though. No, he's... horrible corner. Almost sold against the 49ers. Yeah. He returned that so far. Me. Just fumbled. Didn't Kenny Clark get a new deal too? Oh yeah, he did. I like that. I like Kenny Clark. Gonna have to start resigning all those receivers soon. They're all getting up. Yeah, they're all... someone better than uh, Kenny Clark. Andrew Billings. I freaking love Billings, dude. <laughs> Billings. Three tech boy. No, Please. no, no three tech. Straight nose. Straight nose. Boy. Straight run stuffer. I love when he comes running out of the tunnel. It's, he's so big. It's such a wide. He's so short compared to the rest of them. <laughs> now, one of my last topics of the day did you guys wake up this morning and see there was an actual MLB game being played in Korea? Yeah, I watched. Did you actually? Yeah, <laughs> during breakfast. 
Did you guys know this? No. Nope. I didn't even know it until I woke up. And I'm confused. It's an actual MLB game that'll count for the regular season. Yeah, they're playing two of them. But then the Dodgers, they come back and play a Sp couple of spring, spring training. training games. That makes zero sense. Yeah, no, that is, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. But I watched the game this morning. Was it, did it seem hype? Like, was there a lot of people there? Yeah, because Korea loves baseball. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they they're do. big baseball guys, and you know. There was a lot of people there. But yeah, Shohei's probably, I know Shohei's Japanese, but he's probably big there. He, he was just, he was just hitting. He wasn't pitching? No. Someone said he had Tommy John. Is out Maybe for, he did. Yeah, out for know. the year. I don't know. We're getting a big baseball win. Yes, sir. Yeah. I was there. I was yeah. there. Yeah, I was reporting on it. Kyle Preble. Preble yeah, home run. run. Light up a home run. Comes back and just hits one of the kids. Pray for Kyle Hartman. What happened to him? Um, out on the field. Oh, I he, heard you he got hit in his. Uh, he, took, he took a ball to the balls. The spot where you don't want to get hit. Personal area. That, uh, yeah, oh, he got he got back, he got back up, played the rest of the inning, you yeah, know, kid. caught, Tough it out. couldn't swing a bat anymore, mm -hmm. so laid down a really good sacrifice bunt, moved the two runners over, and one of them got in. Yeah. Hey, hey, team player, team player, team player. That's that's what you want. Team player. All right, guys, we've had a good discussion today. March Madness, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited for it. it starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys have any clothes? You're not going to be here tomorrow? No, I'm not. I, well, I'm going on a field trip, and then uh, I'm taking the afternoon to myself for March Madness. You, know, you got to study. It's the best time of the year. Best time of the year, in my opinion, for sports, besides uh, wrestling season. That, that's this weekend. What? Is it national national tournament? National tournament. I'll, I'll dual screen it. On ESPN. ESPN. Who do you have winning? What? Penn State. Penn, Penn State's going to win. They're so good. They're so good. Not, not like... I don't like Penn State at all, but like they're gonna win. Who's your sleeper pick? What? No, there is no, there is no sleeper pick. Uh -oh. Penn State okay. is that good. All right, then I have Penn State too. Who's that? Do you have? Do? I don't. Penn give State. Me, give me Iowa. Give me yeah. Iowa. Yeah. I would. Who's that one? Man? Spencer. He's gone. Oh. What, what He's about Spencer Petrus? What about Nebraska? Nebraska, they're all right. They, they're out. They got an outside shot at a top four tro country, out of trophy. Country boys out there. What about Loyola? Do they have a good wrestling team? Hey guys on the one floor podcast. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Danae Miller, my co-host. Guys, <laughs> give him Kirk. You think Kiker? Doing Hodges. Thanks for watching.